Just gathered tonight in Nashville to remember the victims of that school shooting. Here is reporter Mary Klingler with that story. It's heartbreak tonight following the tragedy at Covenant School earlier today. Now we're at Belmont Methodist Church this evening where the community is gathering together to remember those lives that have been lost. This is our Green Hills neighborhood and so our community, you know, has been hurt and Immediately we're worried, you know, what's the details? Who's hurt? 17 year old Alexander Reddy goes to a school nearby. Immediately a teacher said, you know, get in your classroom, close the door just as precaution. And immediately I went kind of to a panic mode seeing what's going on. Reddy knows younger kids and family friends that go to Covenant School. Just going to school in general for other kids that is this a safe place? It's unbelievably heartbreaking. We both work with children, and so being uh, thinking about children being harmed in this way is just heartbreaking. After the mass shooting, all of Nashville is coming together. God, I wonder what it would take for meaningful change to occur. Sending similar messages to those families grieving loss. Just how very sorry I am. Christy Robinson says it's difficult to believe it even when it happens at home. We live on this street where the ambulances were coming back and forth, so we heard them going and we heard them coming back. And, you know, it's just the um, realization of what was happening was kind of, kind of right in our backyards. The community says it will take a lifetime to recover from this type of heartbreak and they will continue to lift up each other. This is a part of who we are. We, we stand together during times of happiness and times of great sadness as well. Well, the TBI says it's under investigation right now, the involvement with an officer, which is standard for a situation like this one. We'll keep you updated with any new information. Back to you. Mary Klingler reporting tonight from Nashville. Tomorrow we will also visit with Tennessee lawmakers about what has happened in that city and their plan of action as well, including the gun bills on the agenda in the state legislature this year.